Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the Roger graph checklist and approach. The Roger graph checklist. The knee radiograph checklist is just one of the many pathology checklists that can be used. Knee radiograph is in an exam setting will have been primarily performed because of a story of pain or trauma. So checklist for knee joint and capsule. We have to carefully identify or look for effusion, lipohematrosis, pseudo gout, synovial chondromatosis, septic arthritis, hemophilic atrophy, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis. In case of concern pathology of distal female, we have to look for also control lesion, le lesion bone infarcts, avascular necrosis, non ossified fibroma, fibrous cortical defect, also control my hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, Ewing sarcoma, osteo sarcoma. At proximal tibia, we look for second fracture, reverse second fracture, Pellegrini steda lesion, tibia spine eversion, tibia plafond fracture, Paja disease, a chondroma. Proximal fibula. Mesion nerve fracture. Patella, look for fracture, look for B patit patella, three patit patella. Soft tissue, cuti tufi, pre patella bursitis, calcified. Atherosclerosis. Knee radiograph approach. Knee radiograph are common and often a quick and easy diagnostic exam in the emergency setting. An efficiency approach to them requires a good understanding of anatomy with review strategy to ensure an accurate diagnosis. So, we for we look for the abnormality or pathology of knee in the radiogram. The first of all, we have to review about the knee radiograph anatomy. So, number one, we call major femoral condyle, tibia. Number two is tibia spine. Number three is femoral tibial joint, major compartment. Number four is tibia. Number five is fibula. Number six is fibula head. Number seven, proximal tib tibial fibula joint. Number eight is form femoral tibial joint, lateral compartment. Number nine is the lateral femoral condyle. Number ten is patella. Number eleven is femur. On lateral view, we can see the normal anatomy or look for the abnormality on the number four, we call tibia, number five is fibula, number seven is proximal tibial fibula joint, number eleven is femur, number twelve is fibula, number thirteen is tibia tuberosity. On skyline view, we can look for the patella, number 10, number 15 in major patella joint, 
Number 16 is Ladra Patrachai. Systemic review. A recommended systemic checklist for reviewing musculate musculoskeletal exam is soft tissue area, cortical margin, trabecular pattern, bony enlargement, joint concurrency, and review area. We review the entire radiograph regardless of perceived difficulty. Upon identifying an abnormality, do not cease the review. Put it to the side and insert to complete the checklist. Soft tissue. Check for an effusion on horizontal beam lateral. Peripatella fat pad should sit next to each other and three sub patella fat pad. Pre femoral fat pad. Soft tissue density between them indicate an effusion. If simple effusion hematosis, seen of severe ligamentous meniscus scar or intra-articular bony injury. If fat fluid level with lipohematrosis sinks an intra-articular fracture. So this attenuation of the important structure to review when looking for liquid or the knee radiograph focus on the soft tissue. It's basically cortical alignment and anatomic alignment. It is cross the ball radiograph of the knee, so the lipohematrosis with a three-layer apparent due to fat on serum on a red cell. Subtitle three layer, layer apparent due to fat on serum on a red cell. Bone cortex. Trust the cortex of each bone to play, pain particular attention to region that are superimposed such as the fibular head of patella. This is an example of an intonation of the important structure to review when looking at a knee radiograph focus on the cortical alignment. And also anatomic. Plateau review. Carefully look for a, prox a proximal tibia fracture. Pay particular attention to tibia spine evasion, lateral tibia plateau, small evasion, zygote fracture. Area of increased density may point to underlying fracture. Major epicondyl done overcall classification adjacent to the Medical major femoral epicondyl. Pellegrini steda lesion. This is an intonation of the important structure to review the looking at the near radiograph in the uh, proximal portion of the CPR. Patella. Fractures are usually easy to spot, often transfer. Don't call a B party, party patella or three party patella fracture well corticated and choose center at the super, superior lateral pole. 
This is an example of alternation of the upper from bottom structure, especially focused on pattern line. Femoral condyle sub evasion fracture can be hard to spot in so to check the origin of the major collateral ligament, lateral collateral ligament, anterior cruzial ligament, posterior cruzial ligament. Trust the ethical surface keeping in, keeping in mind the chance of an also control defect. This is my, so where the attach or insertion of the knee ligament and tendon. The same just look from the lateral view to show the where the insertion of the PCL and ACL attachment or insert a uh, ligament where it inserted. Only alignment and joint congruency. One should inspect for smooth congruent only alignment to more view. Gvio femoral alignment. Draw a line down the lateral margin of the lateral femoral condyle. If more than five millimeter tibia is observed outside the line, seeing tibia blood plateau fracture. Check for patellar tendon disruption. Patellar uh, tendon inferior pole of patella to tibial tuberosity. Patella tendon length equal patella length plus minus 20%. There are multiple techniques to measure this. In sal salvati ratio, modify in sal salvati index. Blackburn peer ratio, cotton is sharp index. The Kawaho index. If increased, sink patella tendon rupture. This is an example of the alignment for looking to see or uh, to find the plateau fracture. Video it is small evasion fracture of the knee more often than not are associated with instability and internal derangement. Carefully scrutinization of the origin and insertion point of ligament is a is a must. From lateral to major, superior to inferior, ensure to inspect origin of the lateral collateral ligament at the lateral femoral condyle, origin of the anterior cruciate ligament at the posterior lateral portion of the intercondylar notch, femoral condyle, insertion of the lateral capsule at the lateral tibia, 
at the join line, insertion of the actuate line command at the fibula styloid, insertion of the lateral collateral line command at the base femoralis tendon at the fibula head, insertion of the iliotibia band at curdy to the core of the tibia. From lateral view to measure superior to inferior insert to inspect origin of the major condylar ligament at the major femoral condyle, origin of the posterior cruciate ligament at the anterior middle portion of the major condyle, insertion of the deep meniscal femoral ligament of the major collateral ligament at the major tibia, Insertion of the superficial fiber of the major collateral ligament at the anterior medial tibial five cm distal to the tibial femoral joint. Anterior cruciate ligament insertion at the major portion of the tibial spine. Posterior cruciate ligament insertion at the posterior medical po major portion of the tibial. It is for spending extra time scrutinizing area of superimposed such as the fibula head and plateau. Common pathology Lipohematrosis, fat and blood from bone marrow collect in the Suprapatellar bursa. A fat fluid level may be the only sign of intraarticular fracture associated with pivotal plateau or distal femoral fracture. More so this is an example of lipohematrosis with a three-layer apparent. This is another case of small lipohematrosis. Jibo plateau fracture. Eighty percent involve the lateral plateau or from high or car bumper impact associated significant cruciate and major collateral ligament damage. So this is an example of the displaced fracture of the lateral tibia plateau. If we assess for alignment at the lateral aspect of the lateral condyle of femur, we can see the distance is likely more than five millimeter. Ligone fracture, evasion fracture, bony fragment, adjacent to lateral tibial plateau. Internal rotation and water stress fall or spot. 75% associated with anterior cruciate ligament injury. This is an example of evasion bone or sequence fracture where we can see the evasion bone fragment from the lateral margin of the tibia plateau, which is a harbinger for significant internal knee damage. Intercondylar imminent fracture, typically evasion fracture of tibia attachment of anterior cruciate ligament. Mechanism rapid 
deceleration or hyper extension of the knee, most common in adolescent. This is an example of a minimal displaced tibial imminent fracture in an adolescent. Patella fracture. Majority transfer, also vertical or commuted, direct blunt force or violent contraction for quadricep, public or skyline view will confirm fracture. A transfer fracture through the path line is not with reduction of the upper pole of hot line. Distal femoral fracture, 6% of all femoral fracture. B model distribution, high energy blunt trauma fall in Italy. So this is an example of the distal femoral fracture with displacement and minimal overriding and angulation of the distal femoral fracture. Proximal fibular fracture, typical occur with lateral tibial plateau fracture but may be isolated. Virus force associated with lateral collateral like damage. Minimally displaced fibula head fracture, normal joint space, no dislocation of bone, lesion, period, steel reaction, no supracatalar effusion. Done with. Pellegrini's steda lesion. Post traumatic soft tissue calcification adjacent to major epicondyl of femur. Ossification following injury to major collateral ligament do not miss diagnosis as a fracture. So this is an example. We can see calcified linear focus is present medial to the distal femur in the region of proximal attachment of the major collateral ligament. Take home message. Here we can use ABCS approach for assessing the fraction. A is stand for alignment, so we can use this to, to find the fracture line or dislocation. B is for bone, we assessing again fracture line, we assessing mineralization and other bone lesion. C is for cartilage, this we use for assessing joint space. We scan the narrow or widen according uh, to the cost. S is for soft tissue or secondary sign. We can see or uh, assess for swollen soft tissue. Fat pad change. 
थैंक यू